Students, now let us talk about. Uh, let us see what are different habitats around us. Students, different habitats are present around us, like you know, water as a habitat, land as a habitat, and you know, tree as a habitat, and even our house is also a habitat of different other creatures. Students, you know, uh, let us see uh, how pond as a habitat. You know, the pond. Water pond. Uh, I will show you the image of water pond here, students. You can see, yeah, students. This is water pond. You can see this water pond can be said as a habitat of different creatures. How can we say? How can it be said as a habitat? See, students, here on the surface of water and in the mid of water and pond regions and at the bottom and above the pond surface of the water like you know there is a house and trees you know uh, this whole uh, place like a pond is said to be a habitat because the different creatures live there in the habitat and as there are optimum uh, supporting conditions for life are available there so as these conditions are available there there are different creatures can live there okay like you know on the surface of water you take some uh, dragon flies fly over uh, the water surface insects like pond skater uh, can run can walk on the water surface and if you take plants like pistia and uh, our lotus and different plants grass plants also present on the water on the surface of water and even you see if you if in in the mid of the water if you see uh, some fish present in the water some crabs present in the water some other water living animals also present in the water yes if you see there what at the margin of the water if you take margin of the water you see here margin pond margins if you see pond margins there are different pond uh, creatures are present on the margin even if you see the fish usually fish legs on the margin of the pond and other uh, other water living animals some legs on the margins of the pond next if you see the bottom fish if you see the fish move around all around the pond that uh, fish cannot uh, live at a particular place you can see the fish moves you cannot see the fish living in a particular uh, place of the water that always moves uh, here and there so um, why it moves here and there to find its food usually the creatures living in the water move here and there for finding their food for finding their food so to find their food they have to move here and there right and then uh, you, you know that at the bottom of the water there are dead and decaying uh, matter is present at the bottom of the water so that's very uh, rich nutritious food for the water living animals and you know i am using a term you know that water living animals water living animals right so water living animals in science we can call them as aquatic animals and the habitat is called aquatic habitat right aquatic you can say for example uh, aquarium you know aquarium you might have heard this word aquarium means you know uh, some water is uh, filled in uh, glass chambers and some fish are left in the water and that, that 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 you know the term uh, that makes you understand aquarium so aqua you can just uh, uh, get some sense of this aqua aqua means water related word so aquatic habitat this is aquatic habitat so students you can see here this pond as a habitat you please draw the diagram of this pond as a habitat and you mention the names given the mention the names given to the the habitat you know to this pond like you know pond surface above the pond surface mid water 
pond margins bottom of the pond etc so you please make it as uh, a homework you note it in your notes students and uh, some questions are asked you related to this pond you try to answer to those questions students see here uh, which animals and plants do you think would live on the surface of pond students some questions are asked you here you can see that which animals and plants do you think would live on the surface of the pond and while which animals and plants do you think would live in the mid water and which animals and plants do you think would live in the pond margins and which animals and plants do you think live at the bottom of the pond yeah students so you please try to answer to these questions yeah so uh, obviously there are some answers given here if you go on reading it and you will understand in the pond we find different organisms live in different regions this is due to the conditions like availability of different amounts of food air light etc we find organisms like dragonfly mayfly and kingfisher living above the surface that is hovering above the pond and then resting over the bamboo pole or stick jutting out of the surface of the pond got it students and they get food from the surface of the pond and they get food from the surface of the pond organisms like snail whirling beetle and pond skater live on the surface the larva of mayfly and dragonfly also live on the surface of the pond plants like pistia float on the surface completely while those like the lotus have <coughs> roots going deep under on the surface organisms are easily eaten up by others because there is little protection for them however there is plenty of food and air and <coughs> this is why fish usually come to surface to feed great water boatman leech and mosquito larva are found in the in, in mid water yeah fish and crab also swim around this region pond margins have several grasses frog grains crabs etc fish usually lay eggs here and then the bottom of the pond has plants like hydrilla and animals like mussels float worms some maggots larva of some insects like fly light is minimum here but food in the form of dead and decaying matter is um, plenty uh, where at the bottom of the water this is about at the bottom of water so uh, the activity is given related to this uh, pond as a habitat student so you just draw it and uh, try to find answers for these questions so name some organisms in the pond that can easy name some organisms in the pond that can stay in different regions in the same pond uh, what makes them stay in different regions in the pond can different places in the pond also be called as habitat why or why not is there any animal with legs in the pond yeah there are some creatures like pond skater can walk on water can run on water yes that's uh, you know uh, that's said to be an animal with legs in the pond yes do all animals in the pond have tails maybe may not be right examples you can say tail tails in the sense not like dog tail or uh, buffalo tail or not like that tails like uh, you know uh, the, most of the creatures living in water they move back part of the body here and there and they move forward they make some force on water and they 
move forward okay they are the parts of the body but they are not set like uh, tails of them okay fish you take crab you take crabs they don't have tails right tortoise also they don't have tails right that you can understand most of them have no tails next do all animals in the pond swim yes <laughs> the uh, the living place of them they just simply stay in the water and they don't need to swim like human beings okay they don't need to learn swimming like human beings we we swim in what after learning right mm. the animals they don't learn they are you know they, they are that is the place of their living students like that we can understand next what are the animals that share the surface of the pond as habitat surface of the pond as a habitat you go through the matter given just before you can understand then you can go through the textbook and uh, you try to find answers for these questions students and in the next class we will discuss about uh, tree as a habitat students and what is aquatic habitat i taught you in this video and in the next video i will teach you about tree as a habitat how tree is said to be a habitat of different creatures you can see after seeing this image you will understand i will explain about this in detail in the next class students until then you keep watching this video as many as possible times and try to mention the points that what you have learned from this video class thank you thank you for listening thank you one and all